and welcome in everybody. Glad you're with us. Fourth of July baseball coming at you. It's the New York Mets going up against the Cincinnati Reds. With my partner Chris Singleton, I'm John Shaman. We got a notable pitching matchup in this one, Siggy. We've all anxiously anticipated this matchup. So just about set now. Here's Pete Alonso. Righty delivers. Comes up empty. That's strike two. Definitely not going to make his highlight tape. Next pitch has popped up. Pulls it in for the out. Here's Francisco Lindor. The shortstop. Francisco. The 2 1. Popped up. Farmer sizing this one up. He's got it, and there's two away. And now here's Jeff McNeil. Jeff McNeil. Line drive. And that's a base hit. And that keeps the inning alive. Hitting is really easy for some guys. One thing that I can see already is bat stays in the zone the on plane for an extended period of time. Starling. And guys like that, they have a high contact rate and they have more barrels because of that bat being on plane. And even when you don't get it great, it's still hit hard enough to dunk something in like that in front of the center fielder. Swing and a line drive, base hit out of the center field. Oh, this is off the second base bag. The tag, and that's out number three, inning over. It's always a big risk when you try to take third with two outs, but that outfielder had perfect technique, and the throw was... Bottom of the first. Here's the Reds catcher, Tyler Stevenson. In the air, right field. Escobar under it, and puts the squeeze on that. One away. Here's Tommy Pham. No left field. Yeah, the right-hander deals. There's the strike. Well, who would have thought Jacob DeGrom as a college shortstop and then a ninth-round pick by the Mets was going to turn into this good of a pitcher? Back-to-back -back Cy Youngs in both 2018 and 2019. Swing and a miss, and he got him. Two up, two down. Two outs, space is empty. Jonathan India at the plate. Batting third. The second baseman. Next pitch is outside. Yeah, Boo, just incredible. You look at that benchmark of 200 innings, comfortably over that in 2018 with 217, and the sub two ERA, just impressive at 1.70 to lead the lead. Swag and a miss. The velocity blasted it right past him. Reds down in order. Scoreless after one. Back here at Great American Ballpark, second inning set to go. And stepping in for New York, Mark Canna. The pitch. Out to short. Farmer picks it up. One up, one down. Batting six. No score here the in the second. Number 13, Luis Guillorme. Line drive, base hit right center field. Around first and hustling for second. And he's in with a stand-up double. A little more backspin on that instead of the top spin. And he's jogging around McCann. the bases rather than pulling up in second. James. Here is James McCain. Chases the changeup in the dirt. Goes to third for one, but no throw to first as he'll hold on to it. Here's Brandon Nimmo. The designated hitter. Brandon Nimmo. Left hand batter waits. Swing and a miss. Now one and two. Ground ball up the middle. That's a base hit. They stopped the lead runner at second. Now two on with two outs. Eduardo Escobar, El Caballo up to it. Eduardo. And a pitch. Swing and a miss.
And a foul ball. He stays alive. Next pitch misses. Two and two. Really good take, especially with two strikes. 2-2 two -two now. That one hit to right. He's got it. And that is out number three. Two left for the Mets. And welcome back. Cal Farmer up to the plate now. Swing and a miss. That is strike two. Swing and a miss. And he's down on strikes. And one away. And the batter now is Joey Votto. The first baseman. Next offering is foul back. One down, base is empty. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. And there's two away. Yeah, there's no doubt, Boog. Electric stuff from the jump. And there's just no messing around right that now. It's still very early. The right but we could see a pretty impressive yeah, outing here if the strikeouts yep. keep coming one in the way they are. Uh, one thing you have to be aware of, though, is a high strikeout rate might impact the pitch count. Well, looked at the fastball for strike three there to end the inning. Welcome back. All set for the start of the inning. And now it's the polar bear, Pete Alonso. Ground ball right side. And that takes care of Alonso. Now up to hit Francisco Lindor. Francisco pitch. And a count one and two. Top of the third, no score. Next offering is fouled back. Next one is off the plate. And the count's even at two. And the pitch. Stays alive. This guy's seen two change-ups in a row. Could be a little vulnerable for a fastball right here. That misses the zone. And now three and two. He should get a pretty good pitch to hit here with the three hole hitter coming up if he's walked. The three two is off the outside edge and that is ball four. Well that's a nice job of grinding out that at bat. Saw a lot of pitches and ends up drawing the wall. Very gritty. Jeff. Here's the second baseman McNeil. Jeff McNeil. One for one with a single so far. Kicks and deals. And fouled off. The next offering misses, and it's two and two. Right hander kicks deals, and that one popped to short. He's got it, and there's two down. No, that was a pitch you got to crush. Unbelievable that he missed it right there, and I'm telling you, he is going to be frustrating with himself until his next at bat. Starling Marte up now for the Mets, and he's already singled in this game. Next one misses, and the count is even two and two. Lindor off of first with two away. Swing and a miss, and that is that. Mets leave one. Back here in Cincinnati, here's Mike Moustakis to hit. And a swing and a miss, one away. Man, I really like the ability to bounce back right there after not getting the call. He probably should have gotten it. Didn't let it no affect his focus, and he came Tyler. back with another good pitch to get him swing. And here it comes. And a foul ball. Got him. Picks up strikeout number seven. Just absolutely rolling on the mound. He's looking very much on his game in the early parts of this include Fully on the attack with these hitters. That's seven strikeouts already. So he's got a good pace going, no doubt. And now it's one and two. He swings and fouls one off. Mm -hmm. 
And a swing and a miss. And that's that. Now a high fly ball out to left center. Naquin makes the grab. One up, one down. Pretty good job on the mound in this one, Siggy. It feels like we've seen a lot of off-balance swings. Yep, just one free pass, and uh, obviously he's not a big strikeout guy, but he gets soft contact, and he gets out. Looks like he's being a little cautious with him in this at-bat after doubling the first time up. Doesn't want to make another mistake. Next pitch is outside. Left-hand hitter waits. And that's ball four. James McCann in now. The catcher, number 33, James McCann. Next pitch just misses. And it's two and two. And he deals. Up the middle. Can't glove it cleanly. Goes to second. Safe there. And he'll be safe at first. So now here's the DH. Brandon Nimmo. Brandon Nimmo. Ball to strike. That one fouled off. Guillaume, the lead runner out at second. McCann over at first with one away. Lifted in the air right center field. And that'll fall for a base hit. Around third. He'll score and the Mets take the lead. One nothing. Wasting no time. He's two for two now oh, on the team. night. And just a triple and home run away from the cycle. Seriously? We're starting with this already. So one out with two aboard. Now it's going to be Eduardo Escobar. Well struck right field. One run across and it hits the fence. They extend their lead as the runner scores from second, and they lead by three. That's two consecutive extra base hits for these guys. Anytime you smoke a ball off the wall, you kind of think about what it could have been, but obviously you have to be happy with that result. Stepping in, Pete Alonso. Swing and a pop-off in foul ground. Makes the grab, and there's two gone. And now it's Frankie Lindor. Francisco Runner leads away at second. A swing and a soft liner. The throw is offline and he's in to score. And they lead by four. Well, here we are, third time through the order, and this is where we see the OPS jump up. Manager might have to go to the bullpen a little bit sooner than he anticipated. Jeff McNeil stands in. In the air to left center. Fan makes the catch, and that'll do it. Back here at the ballpark, and now the catcher comes up to him. Tyler Stevenson. Strike two. He's pitching well, but not throwing a ton of first pitch strikes. Usually doesn't work out for success, but he can never predict baseball. And a foul ball, he stays alive. Popped up. Lindor settles under it, makes the catch, and there's one gone. Tommy Pham, the next to hit for the Reds. Next offering is foul back. This is a very important inning here. After scoring all those runs, you want your pitcher to come out and just mow them down. The offense has worked hard. It's shut down inning time. And down on strikes. Two down. Jonathan India, the now next to hit for the Reds. Jonathan. Swing and a miss. India. It's a ball and two strikes. The punch out there. 
That's his second strikeout. Nobody left for Cincinnati. They're down 4 nothing. New inning getting started. Here's the center fielder, Starling Marte. And that chance handled. Tosses to first. And a quick out number one. Here's Mark Canna. The left fielder, Mark Canna. Bounced out to short. Farmer gloves it. And a couple of quick outs. It's important. If he can go one, two, three here, it will be a very positive sign for him and for his team. Here's Luis Guillorme. Good contact guy, good defender. Swing and a line drive. Base hit out of the center field. Joey gets on base and keeps it going. Just so sound in his mechanics. Hits against a firm front side. And the hands just continue to carry through the middle of the field. New pitcher on now, number 43. He's been so good against lefties. So at this point of the ball game, we're talking about middle innings. And we get a little length out of this arm coming out of the bullpen. We'll see just how many outs he's able to give his skipper. One and two now. Swings through that one. It's a strikeout. That ends the frame. Mets. And welcome back. Ready to go for the last half of the inning. And the batter will be the shortstop, Kyle Farmer. Sean Reed Foley comes on now, trying to protect this lead. Just outside. off the outside part of the plate. The pitch. And now it's even up. pitch swings and misses and he's down on strikes for the second time today here comes a pitch well that's a blue zone the right there zone. or the cold zone on the hitting chart just doesn't have much success in that part of the strike zone and a really good job of the pitcher executing try to go there as often as you can the numbers are in your favor no right-handed reliever fouls one off two and two the Reds yet to pick up a hit here. Next offering is fouled back. Swings through that, and it's a strikeout. And the Reds go one, two, three. All right, we go to the top half of inning number six. And now the Mets DH, Brandon Nimmo. Popped up. And it drops in. So a man on base to start the inning. Now the tag at second, and he's out, trying for two. Eduardo now Escobar digs in now. Eduardo Escobar. Going to count one and two. And the righty deals. On the ground, right side, and a base hit. So now back to the top of the order. Well, that certainly feels good when you can win the at bat after being down in the count, up against it with two strikes right there. You can't do much better than that on a pitch that far outside of the strike zone. Got him to chase on the two strike count, but he wasn't fooled. He hit that ball really well. And a base hit. Throws to second. Not in time. He's safe. That's back to back singles for him. That one probably had no business ending up as a base hit, but he got just enough of it to muscle it to the outfield. And that pitch was well in off the plate. A tough one to handle, but he gets rewarded. One down. Francisco Lindor comes up to the plate. And a pitch. So a foul ball makes it one and two. And a pitch. Runners on the move. Got him swinging in there safely. So up next for New York, McNeil. Jeff McNeil. Bit of strategy here. They issue the intentional walk, and that'll set up a force play at any base. So two down. Here's Starling Marte. Starling 
Marquette. Righty delivers. And down on strikes he goes. Third out. So they load the base. Back here at Great American Ballpark, bottom of the sixth inning. Down the third baseman, Mike Moustakis. His next home run will be the 200th in his career. It would be pretty cool to see it right here. Here's a 2-2. Foul back our way, and that's out of play. 2-2 down. Cut on and miss. Struck him out. And one gone. Tyler Naquin to the plate. Now the wind of the pitch. And it's even up. Naquin. The Reds hitless so far in the game. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. And there are two outs. Two outs. Base is empty. Here's Donovan Solano. Number seven. Next pitch misses outside. Donovan. And a full count now. So two down. Well. Nobody on. Swing and a foul ball at the plate. They'll do it again. The wind of the pitch. Swing and a high fly ball out there towards left field. Canna makes the catch, and that'll do it. Top of inning number seven, and stepping in for New York, Mark Canna. The pitch. In the air on the infield, and he makes the catch. And there's one away. The Here's the third baseman, Luis Guillorme. Luis Guillorme. The wind in the pitch. Bounce to the right side. And foul ball. Line drive. Base hit as he pulls up short. Clearly seeing the ball very well in this one. Just a cookie down the middle. I mean, those are the ones you dream about. Ones in the cage, you're just hoping you get in the ball game. Right down the middle, not a whole lot of velocity. Right on top of it. And now it's going to be James McCann. And the right-hander deals. Stays alive. At the belt and fires. Swing and a miss, and he struck him out. And there's two away. So digging in, Brandon Nimmo. Now Third time he struck out in this one, and definitely Brandon. an individual performance you want to flush. He just hasn't looked very comfortable up there. Just one of those days. But when you're still winning the ball game, at least you can focus on doing your part to maintain that lead, getting that W. Swing and a miss, and he got him. That's out number three. Mets lead one. Back here in Cincinnati, bottom of the inning. Here's the catcher, Tyler Stevenson. 2 1 pitch is in there, and the count is even. Got him looking. Down on strikes, and he knew it. And now, Tommy Fan is 0 for 2 with a pair of strikeouts. The Reds still looking for their first hit in this one. Up the middle, and it gets through for a hit. Their first of the ball game. Just kept it simple. Played Pepper with the middle of the infield. No and took Number it back six. where it came from. And there's just no one there to knock it down. And you can feel this crowd waking up a bit here as the guys are starting to make some noise with their bats. Kyle Farmer, the next to hit for the Reds. Not shortstop. Kyle Farmer. And a one-two again. Swing and a miss, and he is down on strikes for the third straight. Welcome back, and a new arm on the mound to start the eighth. Tony Santion hasn't pitched in a while. He's had the last five days off. Tony Three two is off the outside edge, and that is ball four. Boog, do you think you could draw a walk in the bigs if we gave you enough at bats? Oh, that's a good question. Um, 
I think that if they gave the pitcher a false scouting report on me, yes, I think I could draw one. Next offering is foul back. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. And there's one down. Man at first. Francisco Lindor. The up now for the Mets. The shortstop. Francisco Lindor. Left-hand batter waits. Check swing, but he went too far. Yeah, the count one and two. The punch out there. Back-to-back -back strikeouts. He came out of his mechanics there. Typically likes to shoot the ball the other way. The batter but that time, a little Second anxious. Base. Jeff. They all pitch. And he chases that one. Third out, and that ends the frame. Mets. Welcome back. And now the first baseman, Joey Votto. So now one and two. And a pitch. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. And there's one down. Aristides Aquino now. Popped up to the left. Into foul ground. Aristides. Guillaume right there to make the grab. Two away now. Mike Moustakis, the next to hit for the Reds. And one and two. It might be time to choke up a little bit. Get that front foot down early. Maybe even two. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. That's the inning. Reds go down quietly. They're on the short end of a 4 nothing. Hunter Strickland into the game. Starling Marte up to him. Hunter. And a swing and a miss, and one out now. So when you throw the same pitch back to back, that's how you want to do it. Now Set him up in the strike zone, me. then extend Mark. a little bit from there and see if you can get him to chase. Nicely done with the slider right there. Hit softly on the ground the third. Throw sails over his head at first. And yeah, he'll reach second with one away. Now so man aboard. And next for the Mets, Luis Guillorme. The pitch. And that one fouled off. On the ground, right side. India picks it up, throws the first. That's the second out. And here's the catcher, James McCann. James McCann. 1 1 to McCann. On the ground. Throws across the diamond. And that is the third out of the inning. So bottom of the ninth, in now for the Reds, Tyler Naquin. Next offering is foul back. He's a one-two. Fastball, and he gets out of the way. Straighten him up a little bit. New arm out of the bullpen, Jake Reed. And he'll do his best to hang on to this lead. The two-two. And there's a foul ball. Is there a little wrinkle to that? I think there was. Yeah. A little slider action. Pitch misses inside, and it's three and two. Kicks and fires. Fouled off again, and it remains three and two. Quite the matchup we're seeing here. Six foul balls in this at bat alone. Really making him work out there. Guillaume going back on this one. 3 2. Now a pop up on the infield. Reed makes the play, and there's one down. So now the DH spot. Donovan Solano. Swing and a miss, and that's strike two. And down on strikes. Now only one out remaining. So the batting order turns over. 
Tyler Stevens, the next the to hit for the Reds. Tyler Stevenson. Next one just misses. Two and two. Riding to the plate. And a pop up right side, foul territory. And that drops foul. 2-2. Two -two. In the air, fairly deep to right field. He puts it away, and that'll do it. The Mets use three pitchers to combine for the shutout. Well, you win this one four to nothing, and it feels like you could have exploded for more offense.